Hello everyone, it's Christine here and today I had an impromptu visit to the Australasian Quilt Convention. So I'm about to show you uh, some footage that I took. Apologies, it was taken um, by hand so it will be a little bit wobbly. Just think of it as a little sort of a bird's eye wandering Christine view of some of the amazing um, quilts there. I particularly loved the nautical slow stitch style quilt it is absolutely absolutely amazing but just so much inspiration even the more traditional quilt still inspiration to draw for our slow stitch adventures and then I'll come back at the end and share just my very restrained purchases so now onto the footage um, and there'll just be a nice little jaunty soundtrack with it and I'll speak to you after that
So I hope you enjoyed that little look around the Australasian quilt convention and I'll now share with you my very restrained purchases. So for a while I've been wanting to get some Strawberry Thief Liberty fabric and there was a lovely little store. It's called Patchwork by Gail B. Um, I think they've got a bricks and mortar store as well, as well as online. And she had one eighth um, of Liberty for four dollars each. So I got, I think, each of the colorways that she had bar one, which she only had in the larger size. She said she was happy to cut it down for me, but I said, no, no, it's the sign from the universe that I'm just meant to have these particular ones. But yeah, one eighth is a good, good size. Um, and for Liberty, it is just so, so so lovely um, to have it and I just absolutely adore this particular um, pattern so let's let's have a look at them all I haven't haven't opened anything but we can have a have an investigate together so yeah four dollars for each of each of these ones but that will be plenty plenty for me I don't need big quantities of, of liberty I'm not making whole dresses or um, shirts or anything I just want to have little little portions of them to to use in my slow stitch then I just love my birds and, and flowers but I just love how different um, just the different colorways actually actually end up looking I'm actually happy that these just had little elastic bands on them quite cute little elastic bands some of them are multicolored which I'll be able to keep and reuse um, because a lot of the stuff there had um, yeah lots of plastic wrapping it which I suppose they need to do because there's lots of hands handling things still I prefer not to have unwanted unwanted plastics but I'll yeah aim to reuse the ones that I did, did get. isn't that beautiful with the more muted greens and the, the birds and another one this is a nice bright one so the one that I didn't get was a gray colored one I'll have to have a look what other colorways there might be might be around but I'm pretty happy um, I was happy if I just got one one piece of um, strawberry thief um, Liberty fabric, but that's a lovely, lovely little collection. So hopefully if you're pondering, um, yeah, different selections of Strawberry Thief, you've got a bit of an idea of the colorways there. So I'll pop that over to the side over here. Then um, Lucello, which is a Melbourne-based store that I've bought from online. I've never visited them in person, so it was nice to see them in person. They have the most lovely um, packaging with vintage style um, prints and things on it. So I was very happy when she put it in the bag at some of the other places. They said, oh, do you want another bag? And I said, like, no, no. But I was quite happy to, happy to take a bag from here. And one of their beautiful, isn't that lovely, Lucello and their postcard. So I'll pop that one, pop that one up on my um, my board for sure. And so this was a Liberty fabric pack, 12 pieces of 10 by 6. No, I don't know. You probably, I will take it out because I know the plastic gets annoying when you're looking on screen. So let me just pop it out. But I thought that was a pretty good price because yeah, 12 pieces at 24. That's yeah, two dollars and a little bit per piece. Apologies for the, the sounds. It is so well presented that it does, it does make me think of it, but I should take them out because I do actually want to use them, not just look at them all the time. So, oh, isn't that lovely? Beautiful how they have presented them. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous selection. Isn't that beautiful and vibrant? Probably won't be able to get them back as well as they had them, but I want to give you a proper, proper look at them all. So yeah, just a great way to get a wonderful selection in this underwater scene. Fabulous. So yeah, that that is fantastic. I'll probably end up yeah folding them and putting. I've actually got a little drawer um, next to me with my Liberty fabrics in it. So 
I can add to my collection and then plan a little project where I start to use some of them, use some portions. They are just so beautiful, I almost sort of, yeah, think putting putting them like little pages in a book, but it'd be good to probably do something with them, maybe a little, little hexy project because they do have such lovely small designs on them. So that's those ones. And then I was walking past this store that had all these trims, sort of, I think, Indian inspired. Oh, that's the lip that goes with the Liberty. Um, Indian inspired, and it's called Sequin Bazaar. And they had these $10 trim packs. And as I was passing, a lady was um, buying some trims off some reels. And the lady that runs the shop said she doesn't really stock the trims on her website because it's too hard because people can't kind of look at them closely and feel them. So I thought, oh, it's probably good to buy some because I might not find these ones online if I had a look at Sequin Bazaar online. Um, and so I got two, two packs and I was sort of thinking about Christmassy crafts here because um, I tend to not use as many glitzy things in my day-to-day -day crafts. But for Christmas, it is fabulous to have a bit of, bit of bling. And I saw this one. This is what really attracted me to this pack, which are these lovely greeny coloured flowers. So that's fabulous. It's a nice, nice little length. And then this one would be, oh, there's quite a bit. I didn't think, I thought I'd literally get about three, three pieces of that, but there's, yeah, a very good length of that. What else have we got in here? Some of them um, look lovely on both both sides. I'm even thinking some of this could potentially end up in my sort of yeah my texture texture works in one way or another. And this one's fabulous. It's got like a woven ribbon, but then with these little almost like little dinosaur um, <laughs> dinosaur spikes. And again, you can use you can use both sides. Both sides are, are interesting. That's another very good length of that one. And then this one's beautiful, could even go on my burgundy piece, which after looking at the nautical piece at the, the show, I'm kind of, um, yeah, really keen to get back to my um, family heirloom blanket piece and keep adding um, pieces to that because that could almost end up like a, yeah, a slow stitch style quilt. Again, lovely with the little shisha, shisha mirrors. This one's got sequins on it. So yeah, fun for doing like Christmas decorations, I think, but also adding into other pieces. Isn't that a loved one lovely as well? The burgundy and the greens with a bit of gold. And a beautiful gold and burgundy. Again, that could go great into that, that piece. And then this one almost looks like little, little bells, although it's not ringing. <laughs> Isn't that? Isn't that beautiful? Again, I'm thinking also of my, my texture pieces and how you might be able to use that in an underwater, sort of have that wending through some, some weed. So lots of possibilities, even this side of it could be could be fantastic. So that's I think that's pretty good for a, a $10 mixed bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten so ten ten pieces a dollar a piece i think i think i if i was in an op shop i'd probably um yeah be, be pretty happy with that and then yeah another one for ten dollars and i just liked that they were all different mixed bags so you could kind of pick out a couple of things that really caught your eye and then see what else you got in your bag so this one i thought was lovely it's like a, a cotton embroidered Again with the yeah the shisha mirrors or the the sequins, and then I've got a bit more of this this multicolored trim, so that's lovely. So far, that looks like the only only repeat between them. Although I think I've got some more of the yeah I've got some more of the lovely green, which is great. The little um, green flowers. I didn't actually even see that in this one. It's an even bigger length than the the one that actually attracted me in the first place. Fluff caught on it there, and then some little gold dotted ribbon. And some very blingy, but 
again beautiful burgundy burgundy tones oh look at this one it's like quite dimensional looking again I'm thinking about my texture pieces stitch those together and have them as something emerging out from a piece interesting ideas galore this one's lovely purples pinks and greens this one's quite um, sort of textural structural again thinking of thinking of texture pieces but again that'd be great for Christmas Christmas decorations and this one Beautiful as well will be fantastic for Christmas. You could even just make a Christmas tree by um, cutting portions of it and layering it up to make a little Christmas Christmas card. My plan is to get onto Christmas crafting um, much sooner this year. So I'm no, very happy with that haul of lovely. I've got some very fun trims, different to what I've got, different to all my laces and things. So I felt like I was good in that I focused on some things that I don't actually otherwise have in my collection. I'm just saving a little bead from the desk. Um, and then yeah I was really keen and when I saw these really I think very good value little bundles um, or single single opportunities to get particular types of um, Liberty fabric um, I thought that was a great idea so very restrained because I do have coming up um, another video which I won't go um, with this video but will come out in coming days with the second part of my birthday haul as well as an amazing happy mail from one of my dear dear subscribers so I'll see you soon um, and thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it bye everyone